I am in Little Rock Cemetery in Plano, Illinois. And I found the baby's tombstone. Let me tell you a little story background of this baby. In 1955, a gentleman by the name of Howard Hatcher, William Howard Hatcher, was mending a fence along his farm. When all of a sudden he looked in the ditch and there was a baby. Could you imagine that? Finding a baby? Of course, the baby, unfortunately, had already passed away, but he took it, took it to the authorities, and the authorities buried it, uh, you know, made the decision to bury it here in Little Rock Cemetery in an unmarked grave. So his granddaughter, her name is Kathy Wickens. She's an alderman here in Plano. And she found out about this baby that her grandfather found and that it was buried out here. And she spent a lot of her life locating this baby, where this baby was buried. And she found him, she found the baby. And just recently they had a ceremony here at the cemetery honoring this little baby girl. And here's the tombstone. They didn't know her name. They don't even know who this baby was. Like I said, she was found in the ditch by her grandfather uh, William Howard Hatcher. They just had a ceremony here recently because they just got this new tombstone for her and you can see all kinds of dolls and stuff were set there. Baby girl, only, known only to God, buried in 1955. And she's buried next to these folks, Mabel uh, Lillian Peterson, 1927. I don't know if these folks are related to the Hatcherts or not, but uh, she was right basically on top of these folks, buried right there. So what the Hatcherts did, as I walk over to William's grave, because the Hatcherts, William, the guy who found her, is not buried too far away from the baby. He died in 2019, and he's buried over here. but. What the Hatchard family did by putting that gravestone there is they sort of adopted the baby. They said, you know what, we're going to make this baby our own. And we're going to say this child is our, you know, part of our family. So that's why they got the tombstone for the baby and put the baby here at the cemetery. And uh, put the tombstone here at the cemetery. And I'm walking up to uh, Williams. The gentleman that found her. The gentleman who found the baby back in 1955, he was mending a fence. William H., September 1930 to two, November 24th, 2019, he passed away. His wife, Verlee, died in 2013. They're about the same age. But William here, you know, that must have been a traumatic experience to find a little baby laying in the ditch the story of the unknown baby here at uh, Little Rocks Township Cemetery in Plano, Illinois. It's just an interesting story and, and I really give the family props. I give I give Kathy Wickens a little props for being diligent in finding this little baby and where she was buried unknown in an unknown grave. I don't know how she did it but she did it. She found the child and then I give them props because they wanted to honor this child because this child, you know, this child didn't deserve to just be laid out in a ditch. This is nice that the, uh, that they honored this child and gave her a tombstone, gave her her own tombstone. Well, that's it for Cemetery Views today. It was a short video. I just wanted to tell that story. I was listening to WSBY in Plano, a little local radio station, and they told that story of the ceremony they had for this little child. I said, I gotta cover that. That's really a cool story. And uh, just a loving, just a interesting story how this family took that baby in, kind of adopted it as their own. Out of a tragic circumstance, they made it into something where they kind of took ownership of the baby. I am not gonna go down the rabbit hole of trying to blame the mother of the child that dumped the child, that abandoned the child, because I don't know the circumstance of that. It could have been anything. 
you know, we don't know what the story is on that side, why the baby was abandoned. You know, we could say, oh, she just didn't want the baby, so she just threw it out. You don't know. I mean, here's what I think. Maybe she got, maybe it was a thing of crime. And the, the, the I don't know, I'm not going to speculate. Anyway, we'll see you at the next unique tombstone. We'll see you later, guys.